This past week, the Clean Election Commission hosted a candidate forum among Republican candidates running to become Arizona's Attorney General. They have until August 2nd to earn your vote to be the guy or gal who will go against the Democrat candidate this year. It was a group of well-rounded candidates from all walks of life, but they all seemed to agree that the border was their top priority. But then each candidate's priority shifted after that a bit. Now, the real distinct difference between each candidate was put out there during the debate when candidate Glassman insisted that the AG's office is a partisan office, office or at least it should be. He used many examples of Democrats using it as a partisan office to justify his position. However, he was alone on this position as the other candidates said it was not a partisan job and they did not intend to run it as such. Another big point that stood out in this forum was when Lacey Cooper stated that she was the only candidate who would have signed or witnessed the 2020 election. As Abraham Hamaday continued to quote the, 20, or the 2000 Mules movie and explained his opposition to certifying the 2020 election. Now Judge Andrew Gould really didn't give an answer too much. He just stated that he would only operate within the facts of what he knew at the time and not his feelings. Now Tiffany Shedd, she added that at her reservation where her family visits that she was there and she could attest that a poll worker was telling voters that they were not allowed to vote for a different party than what they registered. Now the moderator immediately asked if this was something that was being prosecuted and to her answer she said not to her knowledge. So Tiffany did stand out as on the border issue as a landowner herself dealing with these issues firsthand. She even talked about some of the examples of how she has to deal with them to press charges. However, nearly everyone had some experience on the border security conversation, as many have served in border projects in former President Trump's administration. This race is really heating up, and we're working on scheduling each candidate to come on air in the next few weeks or so to speak to you first-time voters out there. If you didn't get a chance to watch this debate, you want to check it out here on the update. We have it on HYFN TV Network under our election coverage. So make sure you do catch it if you haven't. It was great. Now, our last show, we went over the senators in Arizona. And there was 30 of them, one for each district. Now here in Arizona in the House of Representatives, we have 60 representatives, two per district. And they are your voice at the Capitol. So I wanna buzz through these with you real quick so you can get to know who represents you in your district. So go check out what district you're in so when I read off your district, you know who to call when you have questions. Now let's get started. First off, in District 1, we have Republican Judy Burgess and Quan Nguyen. In District 2, we have Andrea D'Alessandro and Daniel Hernandez, both Democrats. In District 3, again, two Democrats, Andre Cano and Alma Hernandez. In District 4, we have Brian Fernandez, Democrat, and Joe John, Republican. In District 5, we have Leo Barsuzzi, Majority Whip. And then we have Regina Cobb, both Republicans. And in District 6, we have Brenda Barton and Walter, known as Walt Blackman, both Republicans. And in District 7, we have Democrats Jasmine Blackwater and Myron Tutsi. And in District 8, we have Neil Carter and David Cook, both Republicans. In District 9, we have Christopher Mathis and Pamela Powers Hanley, both Democrats. District 10, we have Morgan Abraham and Domingo De Grazia, both Democrats. In District 11, we have Mark Fincham and Teresa Martinez, both Republicans. And in District 12, we have Speaker Pro Temp Travis Grantham and Jake Hoffman, both Republicans. District 13, we have Republicans Tim Dunn and Joanne Osborne. And in District 14, we have Lupe Diaz and Gail Griffin, both Republicans. District 15, we have Republicans Steve Kaiser and Justin Wilmeth. 
District 16, we have Republicans John Fillmore and Jacqueline Parker. District 17, we have Democrat Jennifer Pollock and Republican Jeff Winnegar. In District 18, we have Metsy Epstein, Democrat, and Jennifer Germain, Democrat. District 19, we have Democrats Diego Espinoza and Lorenzo Sierra. And in District 20, we have Republicans Shauna Bullock and Democrat Judy Schweibert. In District 21, we have Republicans Kevin Payne and Beverly Pergelli. In Dem District 22, we have Republicans Frank Carroll and Ben Toma, also the Majority Leader. District 23, we have Joseph Chaplick and John Cavanaugh, both Republicans. In District 24, we have Assistant Minority Leader Jennifer Longden and Democrat Amish Shah. In District 25, we have Rusty Bowers, Speaker of the House, and Michelle Udall, both Republicans. In District 26, we have Democrats Melody Hernandez and Athena Salman. District 27, we have Minority Leader Re Reginald Bolding Jr. and Marcelino Quiones. District 28, we have Kelly Butler and Sarah Logurai, both Democrats. District 29, we have Richard Andrade, Democrat, and Cesar Chave, also a Democrat. And in District 30, we have Robert Meza, Democrat, and Christian Solorio, also Democrat. And that will do it for all of your current representatives. I apologize if I butchered your names, that's not my strongest suit. But we do want to make sure all of our viewers out there on the update get to know who represents them because the representatives are your voice at the Capitol.